We got to What it is? What's up? Got your girl in Olympus, bro. What up? It's Bob from Olympus Iron, guys. Check out what I just got from Rivalist.net. Ooh, got my five pounds of whey protein isolate chocolate promisil, 120 calories per scoop, 24 grams of protein, seven different types of protein in there, as well enhanced with beta alanine. And ooh, a tasty treat, BCAAs, which I drink throughout the day or whenever I just need a splash of flavor. Blue raspberry, guys, check it out. Uh, OI30 at rivalist.net, link in the description, and you can grab uh, grab 30% off your products. I know it's real generous. Chad Lingy takes care of me, guy. Thank you, Chad, and thanks to everyone out at Rivalist. Mike Barbs, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, What's going on guys? Bob from Olympus Iron. Um, wanted to do this video about perception guys because I had this revelation. I mean I've had this for a long time but it's something that I'm very passionate about. Something that I have a lot of drive of and if it's something that I have a lot of passion about I like to share. That's why I made this channel is to share my passion with you guys. So you go into the gym and you see somebody working out. They don't look like they lift and that they have a uh, and their form is and their form is off and everything. You immediately start to judge, right? We've all done it, guys. It's there's no shame in admitting it. But but bottom line is, this industry is so goddamn negative because we let our perceptions get the best of us. What we end up doing is we end up bringing in negativity where there is none. Where that relationship between two bodybuilders who've never talked in the gym before, why does it have to be negative? You know what I'm saying, guys? So you go into the gym or you, wa you watch somebody on YouTube who doesn't look like they lift or don't, doesn't have a weakness and you immediately bring negativity into your life and you bring negativity into their lives and it becomes an altercation. And I've seen altercations on YouTube before and I've seen altercations in the gym before just being a pissing contest. Um, but the fact of the matter is um, you need to worry about yourself, guys. In this bodybuilding thing, in the powerlifting, you need to worry about yourself. And speaking of powerlifting, if you ever see a powerlifter, let's take Johnny Candido, for example. Let's take uh, Chelsea List. Let's take, you know, Brandon Campbell. Let's take my close friends that whenever they do a meet, they're never posting that they're the ones that won the meet. They're never putting their place up. They're putting their own numbers, guys, because it's all about them. It's all about their personal goals, their their achievements, and that's what it should be a, be, a, be about as a bodybuilder. And bodybuilders get a bad rap because we we are exactly that. It's a pissing contest. It's a beauty contest where you where you're judged on your physique versus somebody else's. But what we can't seem to figure out is how to just worry about ourselves and not worry about oh his triceps are lacking. Yep, yep, his hamstrings definitely need work. He's you know we can't pick apart everybody unless we can pick apart ourselves, and that's what we should be worrying about is ourselves, guys. And I know it's tough to trust people. Like, for example, you go into GNC, and sometimes people don't look like they lift, but you know what? You have to judge them by their passion, their drive, and if they're real, guys. I worked for GNC for four years, guys, and I was 160 pounds. I can guarantee you I knew what I was talking about. And sure, if you ask me today some of the questions that you that you would have asked me at GNC, I would have different answers because that's part of growth, guys. But you need to look for passion and you need to look for the drive to research. You know, Ian McCarthy may not look like he lifts, may not look like he's, you know, the most fit guy, but he has the passion and drive that if he doesn't know the answer, he's going to find the answer for you guys. He's going to go out there and research that answer. And I know that, that science isn't always the answer to everything, but at least that passion to help you guys out, that's why I like to respond to you guys' emails. That's why I like to respond to your Facebook messages is because it shows that I have a passion to helping you guys out. I didn't make this YouTube channel for fame. I didn't make the YouTube channel so that, you know, I could be a dick measuring contest about how many subscribers I have versus one. It's so that I can give back to the community of bodybuilding, give back to the community of fitness in general. Um, you want to be a positive force in this industry, and that's what, how I like to view myself, and that's what I tend to um, surround myself with. Nick Panero, completely positive. His dad, positive. Everyone on the Olympus Iron website, as an Olympus Iron athlete, anyone that I associate with is a constantly positive. If they're constantly negative, it just brings me down, brings bad, bad vibes to me. So I just wanted to make this quick video, guys, and in closing, man, perception is not reality. Use your mind. Think through it. 
Think through the research. Think through, be, be a healthy skepticism in a good way and a bad way. If you're looking at somebody um, who has a great physique, don't be, be skeptical and obviously say, what is they doing? What are they doing to get this? And if there, is there a methodology? Like, for example, the whole Jeff Side business that's going on. His great physique. But you have to look, just because he has a great physique doesn't mean that he has uh, the avenues to getting that great physique. You know, he, he might have misinformation. So you've got to look at, be a healthy, healthy critic about what people, what information is provided to you. Also, what negativity you bring into your life. If it isn't worth it, if it isn't worth it, don't bring it into your life, guys. Perception is not reality. In closing, guys, peace. Bob from Olympus Iron, thank you guys for watching. Love it, all my viewers, guys. Um, subscribe if you haven't, like the video, share it around, and peace, guys. Do you wish for gains of Mount Olympus? The only way to train like a god in the halls of iron is to bestoweth upon yourself garments of Olympus. Only such garments can be purchased at olympusiron.com.